use once in a year for a GSA, NSA, uh, fallow land, and forest land. You read this thing in, in the chapter? Fallow land, no. It's a NSA, net zone area. Net zone area. That land which has capable for a production once in a year. Once in a year, in a one agriculture season. Net zone area. For current fallow land, no, okay. Okay, next. Next is the, yes, which one are the following? Conferences was convened to the discuss the environmental protection and social environmental protection at the global level. Global level in 1974. Options are in 1974. Options are Rio de Janeiro, first. Second, World Summit on a Sustainable Development. Third, Kyoto Protocol. Fourth, Schumacher's report. No, fourth one. Schumacher, it was published as their report on the behalf of the Gandhian philosophy in which the Mahatma Gandhi states that the resources are enough available for all to satisfy the needs of all, not to the greeds of all. Clear? As according to the sample paper, Rio de Janeiro, it will be as an answer, but I didn't mark here the socioeconomic development. Many year change, Kadia, 1992, 74. Rio de Janeiro Earth Summit occurred in 1992, in which as the agenda 21 set by the more than 100 countries. Each and every country it will be free to set their agenda 21 through which they can eradicate the poverty, conserve the environment, and decrease the economic disparities. Now, the next question India has land under a variety of the relief features. Which of the following features ensure the perennial flow of uh, some rivers provide facilities for tourism and ecological aspect? Now, Amrit Pal will answer. Amrit Pal. Amrit Pal, raise your hand. Amrit Pal Singh. Shivansh, yes. Options are Plains A, Plateaus B, Plateau B, yes. Island 3, C, Mountains 4. Sir, question a bit. Under a variety of relief features, which of the following is features ensure the perennial flow of some of the rivers provide facilities for tourism and ecological balance? Option options. A, plains, B, plateau, C, island, D, mountains. Mountains, sir. Mountains. Agar so as a modify kiya jai, how much percentage of total area has divided among the mountains? A, 30%. Very good, 30%. And the mountains are the storehouse of water and 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 water and very good, forest. Forest. So now the next question, which one of the following human activities has contributed significantly in a land degradation? Land degradation. First is a deforestation. Second is a crop rotation. Third is a shelter belt. Fourth is a over irrigation. Over irrigation. First and fourth, say here. Yeah. Over irrigation through which as a land of a Punjab are faced as a land degradation. But here the option as a flowing as marked here. Flowing nahi hoga. Deforestation and over irrigation. Very good. Next one. Which one are the following? This has to be. Okay. Yes, which one of the following is the is an example of which one of the following is the example of a primary sector activity? Primary sector activity. Farming. Mining, forestry, fishing. Not which? Shai Charunyan. All. One question Galata. One tertiary sector. Next. Which of the following measures the proportion of 
literate population in the seven and above age group? Option A. I'm repeating again the question. Which of the following measures the proportion of literate population in the seven and above age group? First option is a net attendance ratio. Second is the enrollment rate. Third is the retention of students. Fourth is a literacy rate. Literacy rate. Literacy rate. Retention of students has associated with the midday meal scheme. Midday meal scheme and net attendance ratio and enrollment rate has influenced by the Sasaksha Bhyan scheme. Next, which one of the following is the correct meaning? Krishan, Sony, raise your hand. Krishan, Jaya Dhingra, Tarandeep. Out of these three individuals, they have to raise their hands. Krishan, Jaya, Jaya Dhingra, and Tarandeep Singh. So Jaya Dhingra, question is the, which one of the following is the correct meaning of average income? The total income of the country total income of the country divided by its earning population the total income of all the residents of the country second statement is a total income of all the residents of the country third statement is a the total income from the domestic and foreign sources foreign sources means those individuals which are living in a abroad, but they are spending their resources in India. And the fourth one, the total income of the country divided by its population. Jaya Dhingra. Jaya Dhingra. Second option, second. Not clear, Bache. So fourth option is a correct. The total income which has a Calculate which has divided with the total population. The first statement is an incorrect reason. The total income of a country when it has divided with the working population means here we are calculating the income of only the income of a total working population. But we are here assessing about the working population which lies in a 15 to 59 age group. We are neglecting the below 15 age group and 60 above, which are also our, our assets. Assets. These are also our, our assets. Second one, the improvement, the total income of all the residents of the country. All the residents of the country. This is known as the total income earned by the residents of the country is known as the Some, yes, Mehul, some of, some of all those goods and services produced within a country. It is also known as a very good GDP. This is the GDP. And when the income earned from the abroad mixed with the GDP is known as the, known as the Amritpal. When we add the GNP shares, GNP or national income, very good. National income. This is our national income. When the total income divided by the total population is the average income per capita income. Next question Which are the following aspects? Sorry, aspects are best describes the HDI, Human Development Index. First, improvement in science, information, and technology. Second, Improvements in investment finance, investment in improvements in investment finance and technology. Third, improvements in health and education. Fourth, improvements in income, education and health. Yes, Kishan Soni. Kishan Soni. Option D. Option D, correct. I income include income in C. Mein. So very good. Option D, why? Because HDI has followed the two indicators, 
social and economic economic indicator is a per capita income social indicators are the health and education as the independent leader social indicator not as the best criteria for the categorization of a world economies or neither as a per capita income consequences of the environmental degradation do not respect a national or a state bounty this is a statement so which of the following is the essence of this statement which has explains the that particular statement first is the economic development second is the national development third is the sustainable development fourth is the human development statement is consequences of environmental degradation do not respect the national and national and state boundaries means jo uh, environmental pollution ho raha hai wo ek particular country tak delimit nahi hai it has extended towards other country usa is a leading producer of a greenhouse gases in a world but their bad impact has visualized in other countries climatic changes occurred in other countries when the glaciers it will be as a melt ice caps will melt it will influence the other economies also theek hai so that aspect is related with the related with the which of the following aspects first is the national development second is the economic development third is the sustainable development fourth is the human development kaise human kaise yes mehul wake up other sustainable development sustainable, sustainable development. development but you change your answer you change your answer nahi yahan aapne darna nahi hai na agar aapko sahi lagta hai to aap confirm rahiye first statement a cleaning staff in a private school sweeper in a private school second an engineer getting all employment benefits third a daily wage laborer working for a contract clear and fourth minister so minister which has which has handled the different authorities अकेला बहुत होगा सेकंड भी होगा सेकंड भी होगा सेकंड कौन सा था ये था एन इंजीनियर विच इज गेटिंग द ऑल एम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट्स मींस द सर्विसेज एक्स्ट्रा बेनिफिट एक्स्ट्रा इनकम बेनिफिट्स व्हिच आर गिवन टू द इंडिविजुअल बाय देयर एम्प्लॉयर्स सो बोथ विल बी कैटेगराइज अंडर द ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बिकॉज़ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर डजंट मीन दैट द सर्विसेज और द गुड्स व्हिच आर मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट सम प्राइवेट कंपनीज व्हिच आर गिवन एज अ सर्विसेज टू देयर employees are also categorized under the organized sector then there is a statement mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act manrega initiated in a 2005 states a guarantee of a minimum 100 days of employment per year if government is unable to fulfill these 100 days of unemployment the government would have to dash choose the correct option क्वेश्चन है मनरेगा पास इन 2005 गिवन एज 100 डेज एश्योर्ड जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू द पीपल 100 डेज ऑफ अ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू द रूरल पीपल सो इफ द गवर्नमेंट फेल इफ द पंचायत सब फेल टू प्रोवाइड एज अ जॉब टू द अनएम्प्लॉयड्स देन व्हाट प्रोविजन हैज मार्क स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इट प्रोवाइड द अनदर स्कीम फॉर द सेम second pay at least 1/3 percent allowance jasleen ready for the answer yes sir and the third statement is provide health care as compensation fourth is a unemployment allowance given by the panchayats i'm repeating again the options first option provide another scheme for the same means that unemployed which has not getting the jobs it will be benefited to the another scheme when a panchayats are fail to provide a job second pay at least 1/3 percentage of allowance third 
provide health care as compensation and fourth unemployment allowance jasleen sir uh, maybe pay at least 1 by 3% allowance uh, both are correct option 2 and option 4 are correct unemployment allowance as a compensation as panchayats it will be as given as a unemployment allowance hindi mein se kehte hain a certain amount of a money has been paid by authority for the survival without any work so very good next one yes next question is the so there are a certain hints are given here it develops in areas it the type of a soil which has develops in areas with high temperature and heavy rainfall there is the low humus content and it has generally found on a coastal parts of goa and karnataka options are first yellow soils second alluvial soils third forest soils fourth laterite soils laterite soils lies in areas receiving as annual rainfall more than 200 cm 200 laterite soil laterite soils they are laterite soils so which of the following categories of resources can be put under the put tidal energy in first potential resources second non renewable resources third international resources fourth actual resources yes mehul i think two are there two three students are there kishan jasleen yes Which renewable yes sir ne renewable option hi nahi kaha beech mein maine renewable nahi kaha bache renewable to option hi nahi hai beech mein potential resource under such circumstances it will be as a potential potential resource because it has a capability to satisfy our needs but presently has not utilized so kaha nahi gaya aapko next consider the following statement sorry it's a civics part yes assertion reason assertion is a session is hdi hdi explains the world economies world economies based upon a socio economic indicators socio economic indicators now the reason is the comparison of a national income comparison of a sorry the categorization of the world economies reason is the categorization of the world economies it is as a suitable by by the study of income health and education kya option aayega b option option b is a both a and r are the true but the r is not the correct explanation of a very good ऑप्शन बी आएगा आपके सैंपल पेपर के अकॉर्डिंगली मेहुल सी आएगा पर वहां स्टेटमेंट है ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट मेंशंस द हाउ मच सोशियो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हैज हैपेंड इन अ कंट्री एंड द रीजन इज कंपैरिजन ऑफ अ नेशनल इनकम ऑफ टू कंट्रीज एक्सप्लेन्स द ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स द सेकंड रीजन इज द फॉल्स रीजन इज फॉल्स एसेसन इज अ ट्रू ओके नेक्स्ट वन दिस वन टेबल हैज गिवन हियर sorry question is choose the correct option from the following so pairs are formed fourier 
with the tertiary sector fishermen with the secondary sector carpenter with the primary sector and transporter with the secondary sector harshit sani answer harshit sani yes sir answer fishermen with secondary sector carpenter with primary sector iron smith of primary sector transporter of secondary sector courier with tertiary sector ashit sani sir courier with tertiary it's a service it's a service so it is as a correct pair others are the incorrect fisherman has associated with the primary sector but given as a secondary wrong carpenter is work on the basis of a raw material it has manufactured a goods secondary sector carpenter secondary sector transporter is associated with the tertiary sector iron smiths are associated with secondary sector so courier with tertiary sector is a correct pair then afterwards i have yes shantanu is a under nourished as his weight is 45 kg and his height is a 1.78 meters find out his body mass index from the following options so you have to calculate calculate the bmi whatever the height is given here sorry height is given here it should be as a converted into the meters it has given in a 1.78 meters which will be as a divide with the weight whatever the weight is there it should be as a square weight ka square 45 ka square usse divide kar dijiye then the shantanu it will be proved that i'm undernourished their body mass index it will be as a 12.6 12.6 a woman works at a sweet shop in her village on a contract basis and gets the meagre salary after the working the entire day she is the daily wage worker she doesn't get the any holidays or paid leaves rather her employer deducts her salary whenever she is absent from work absent from work tarandeep raise your hand tarandeep singh mansha kartike she doesn't get any holidays or paid leave rather her employer deducts her salary whenever she is absent from work find out in which of the following sectors she is working first service sector second primary sector third organized sector fourth none unorganized sector aayega unorganized sector where the employers they empl uh, they exploited the employees by giving them the lesser wages they are taking the services in a more number of the hours no provision of the over overtime no provision of overtime now the next one a man is employed a man is employed in city a man is employed in city especially in a factory in a man is employed in a jute industry jute industry where he has he has work on a manual manual basis he basically has work as a manually not with the help of the machines not with the help of the machines but after the sorry due to as a work in a jute industry it has not getting as a job throughout the year it will be as a which category of unemployment first structural unemployment second technical unemployment third educated unemployment fourth seasonal unemployment seasonal over a man which has doing the work in a jute industry jute industry which has getting the uh, not throughout the year it has not getting the job throughout the year that condition has indicates towards the which kind of unemployment first structural second technical third disguised and fourth seasonal सीजनल आएगा 
after the harvesting of a jute then the possible that the raw material will provide raw material will provide then the workers will employed by the employer it will be as a seasonal unemployment associated with the harvesting of a crop now any queries those who are having the queries they can raise their hands uh, yes amritpal there many